Hello everyone, today we're going to go over 6th grade lesson 6. Okay, so number 1. Madison arranged 28 dolls in 4 boxes so that all boxes contain an equal number of dolls. How many dolls are in each box? So Madison has 28 dolls and she wants to evenly distribute them into 4 boxes. That would mean that she wants, basically she wants to equally divide them into four boxes. So we would just do 28 divided by four, right? And that gives us seven. So that means that when the 28 dolls are divided into four boxes, and so that the boxes contain an equal number of dolls, there would be seven dolls in each box. So B is the correct answer. Okay. Number two, there are 90,000 inhabitants within 15 square miles. How many inhabitants live in nine square miles? Okay, so there's 90,000 inhabitants in 15 square miles. Uh, let's first find the rate. So, so, which means how many inhabitants there would be in one square mile. So we would have to do 90,000 divided by 15. And so 15 goes into 90 six times. Six times 15 is 90. And then since, well, since all of them, all of the remaining numbers are all zero, it would just mean there's zero, zero, zero. And so 6,000, 90,000 divided by 15 is 6,000, which means that in each square mile, there are 6,000 inhabitants. So that is our rate. And now we'll use this to find the number of inhabitants in nine square miles. So basically we would just have to multiply by nine, right? Because we have to multiply 9 on the bottom, so then we multiply 9 on top, which is basically the same thing as just doing 6,000 times 9. And when we do sit here, we do 6,000 times 9. Uh, 0 times 9 is 0, 0 times 9 is 0, and then 0 times 9 also 0, and then 6 times 9 is 50. Four. So fifty-four thousand. Oh my, fifty-four thousand inhabitants is uh will live in nine square miles. So C is the correct answer. Okay, let's skip number three. Let's go to number four. In Easton Middle School. Out of every five students in the school, two are girls. There are 355 students in the school, so what is the total number of girls in Easton Middle School? Okay, so there's two girls for every five students, right? And so if there are 300 55 students in total, how many number, uh, I mean, how many total, well, what is the total number of girls in Easton Middle School? And so let's find the number we would have to multiply by. So we would have to do 355 divided by 5. Uh, 5 goes into 35 7 times, 7 times 5 is 35, and then we subtract, 
we bring down the 5, 5 goes into 5 one time, so 7, oh no, not there, my bad, uh, we would have to be multiplying by 71, right? So 5 times 71, in order to get uh, 355 students, so then we would also do the same thing to the top, right? times 71 so let's do 71 multiplied by 2 and that gives us 2 and then 7 times 2 is 14 and so there are 142 girls in Easton Middle School so B is the correct answer Uh, last question, we'll do number six. Out of every eight students in Preston Junior High, six students study Spanish. What is the number of students who study Spanish if the number of students is 320? Okay, so six students out of every eight students study Spanish, right? And so if the number of students is 320, what would be the number of students who study Spanish? So again, let's find the number that we can multiply by, uh, by 2, 8, in order to get 320. So we would just have to do 320 divided by 8, 8 doesn't go into 3, but it does go into 32 4 times. 4 times 8 is 32. Find this. Then bring down to 0. Goes in 0 times. And so 40. Oh. Oh my. My bad again. So we would have to multiply 40 here. Not here. And then we would also have to multiply 40 on the top as well. Okay, now let's do 40 times 6 here. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 4 is 24. So we would write 200, 240 here, not 40. So there would be 240 students who study Spanish out of the uh, 320 students in Preston Junior High. So D is the correct answer.